All right, here's a quick video uh, for Gary. Uh, what you want to do is go to QRZ and make sure you have your logbook enabled. I guess if you go to QRZ, you have to log in. And if you go to your call sign here and go to my logbook, uh, you know, you, you want to make sure you have a, a log book, uh, you know, if you don't, uh, I guess, uh, you just go over here and access the log book. But when you go to log book and settings, you see here, ADIF import export. That's what you want to go to, to import your log file from WSJTX. Now, before I do that, you can find your log file for WSJTX if you go to uh, your C drive, users, and I guess whatever your username is for your computer, mine's Frank, yours might be Gary or uh, KA3FUL, whatever you named it. And then you go to app data and you go to local and then you go to WSJTX. Um, and when you're in WSJTX, this is the file. It's called WSJTX underscore log dot ADI is the file you want to upload to QRZ. Now, if you just open WSJ, uh, I'm sorry, WSJTX, you can find your log file. Uh, here's WSJTX. If you go to file and open log directory, that'll also take you to uh, your directory. And what you could do here is uh, when you go into the program, you could actually, uh, you could click on this little folder and drag it right out to your desktop so it creates a shortcut. Or you could right click on the ADI file and you can go send to desktop create shortcut. So if you do that, you'll have a little shortcut on your desktop for the folder or for just the log file itself. So when you go back to uh, QRZ, you can just go down to ADIF and go import. And here it's going to ask you to choose a file. And you go choose file. And you go to your desktop. Now on your desktop, here is that little shortcut we made right to the file. So you could click this, or if you go to the folder we made the shortcut and you double click that, that'll bring you into the folder and here's the file you want, wsjtxlog.adi. Uh, you'll hit open here, and then you'll hit import. Now I'm not gonna import it because I'm up to date, but when you hit import, you're gonna get a little message that uh, your files were imported and it takes a minute or two to get populated but uh, once that's done you can just go right to refresh and you'll see all your logs you brought in um all right uh let me know if uh, if you have any more questions thanks